Oh. <clears throat> I happened by a movie theater today, so I decided to go in. It was 2.20, and that was the earliest show. I don't know whether the business is slacking off or what. Uh, the movie was uh, Cabin in the Woods, which one critic describes as a takeoff on horror movies. Well, and a takeoff on reality television, too. A long time ago, uh, the TV was the number one medium, it, it was all all encompassing, it had the whole audience, and there were three networks. Then cable and satellite came along, and that sent them all into bankruptcy. They come back, they had to have cheaper shows because they didn't have enough money. <coughs> That's when Mike Wallace became a big deal. They never said anything in the recent eulogizing, but he used to lie to people to get them to come on the air. Then he'd hit them with the scandal stuff. He was pretty much a creep. Well, anyway, uh, they have the reality shows too, which are cheap. And I haven't seen any of them, but I bet there's just there's no reality to them. A bunch of tricks played on people. Now, the movie A Cabin in the Woods is a reality show. If you got a billion dollars to spend on the setups and machinery and uh, effects and things, and you have a bunch of slickers watching it all on television while a bunch of people out in the woods there get chopped up by ghouls and vampires and things. <laughs> and apparently you play this game for keeps. There is some rules to it, but uh, it doesn't keep nearly everybody from getting killed. I bet they uh, brought in a tank truck full of prop blood for this thing. It was it was an engrossing movie, and while there no big names in it, they did have uh, people with some impressiveness in it. And, uh, <clears throat> so, <laughs> if you don't mind seeing a movie that looks like an explosion in the blood bank, this is it. <clears throat>